Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to head out to Lancaster because I want to hit a, an antique store that I haven't been to in a while. And I haven't, I, it occurred to me the other day that I hadn't been there forever and it was like one of those places where I suddenly felt like I have to go, like I need to go walk around. So I'm gonna, going to go do that. Today is lunch date day with Josh. It's a mouthful. <laughs> but anyway, I figure I'm going to head out this morning. I want to run over there and see what they have. I also would like, depending on time and traffic, I would also like to hit the one Goodwill store that I went to a week or two ago. I took you guys to, it was my first time there and I took you guys along for the one walkthrough. I think that was two weeks ago. I don't remember, I've lost, I've lost all track of time. So I'm gonna head over there today and then go meet with Josh. And uh, hopefully I'll find some cool things, but if not, at least a walkthrough would be nice and lovely and I'm ready for it. I have a leftover iced coffee from yesterday uh, when I took my daughter to the orthodontist. We stopped at Sheets on the way home, so I have a nice coffee. I, I took, took three sips of and forgot about, so I need to go put some makeup on. The makeup that I have is like from yesterday, so I need to refresh or relayer. I'm not sure which, but anyway, um, so hopefully the next shot will be me at the antique place in Lancaster. Maybe I'll, I'll hit a couple places if I have time. But I'm not sure. I think I'm going to be crunched on time. But the one particular reason I want to go to this place is it's um it's always packed full of good things. And they actually have a little outdoor section. So when you're staring at the front of the building to the left of it, there is this little outdoor section. They open around April. And I think they close down around September or October. And it's all like, like the cheapy stuff. It's stuff that like, because when it rains or whatever, it gets weather beaten and whatever. But you'll see when I get there. They always have a lot of cool stuff sitting out there. Usually really cheap. By like midsummer, all like the price tags are like faded or washed out from the rain and sun. But it's kind of cool. And I just, I like going through there. Sometimes I can find really cool treasures. Anyway. All right. I'm about two minutes in. I don't want the intro to be too long. So I will see you at the antique shop. And that was about it. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I was going to say something else. And then like my brain was like, nope, nope, we're done. Wrap it up. Conclude. All right. See you there. Okay, made it safe and sound 40 some minutes later. This parking lot is packed and th there's more parking lot behind me This isn't just it, but this place um, is really uh, I love walking through. I have this like outdoor section here and um, Then over here way over there, They have like an outdoor section. I think they have it set up now um, But yeah, this place is great and this is one of the nice places to come because it does open a little bit earlier than some places Some places don't open until 10 they open at 9, at 9. So anyway, but yeah, like this place is really fun to go to. These little, each of these little outdoor sections. They always have these, but then they have the other section on the other side. Let's see what they have here. I'm talking now because no one around. If uh, people suddenly show up, then I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of talking. I might do a voiceover, but just kind of fun to see what they have chairs hanging up. Oh. <clears throat> oh, some sun. Not sure what that is. Okay, here. Some gentleman just walked. Thank you. Okay, let's see what they got. <clears throat> you can see how quick you a quick view. That's not real big. Big, they usually have some cool stuff in here. Oh, I like this little chair. That'd be cute for like flower pots or something. I'm not seeing a price tag on it though. Maybe it's not for sale. Hmm. I don't know. It's actually slightly chilly out here. I left my sweatshirt at the house. Traffic. This is cool. So I'm a little cool, but it's supposed to go up to 60 today, so. Only a dollar, but it does have that big massive chip on it. That's a shame. This looks old. Oh, I like this. Because I think the really, really old ones don't have handles on them. My phone focusing? Seriously, dude, I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> Even with the chip, that's like really tempting. Oof, I'm like shivering. Sorry, my face. I'm trying not to shiver because if I shiver, it'll shake my phone. Anyway, there's all that. Let's try and get some footage here. Erk. Owlerth. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, President and Mrs. Dwight. Oh, so it's Eisenhower. Interesting. Holly, don't shake. 
Ooh, I should have worn my sweatshirt. I didn't bring it. I'm thinking that nah, it's gonna be fine. This is Shenandoah trying to. Why doesn't my phone want to focus? Very nice. Lights. There, all right, let's keep going. Interesting. You should have prices out here are pretty good. Ooh, tiles. I think tiles. I'm not sure if there's anything I'm interested in, though. Oh, it's only 25 cents, though. See? Cutters, all this stuff. Oh my gosh, the traffic noise is so loud. <laughs> Sorry, I'm shivering. Oh, this is cute. Look at this teeny tiny little teapot. I'm gonna zoom my phone in just. Ooh, oh, this. I'm gonna zoom my phone in. I think my phone will focus a little bit better if I zoom in. Oh, I might get this. This will match the other shaker that I got at the flea market a while back. I love that shaker. These are actually called, oh gosh, I just looked these up. I forget they're called like neck, um, something neck shakers. I don't know. $5? I thought it'd be cheaper than that. This one's like less than a dollar for mine. That's tempting. I might get that. I'm not sure though. Uh, ooh, cool embroidery and it's Mickey. Oh, wow. Needs a little repair, but that's okay. Shine that would say, Dear God, I want to be just like my father when I grow up, except not bald. <laughs> that's cute. Kind of like this. This is kind of fun. I don't know if it's supposed to be like an ashtray or like for like snacks. I've known to know. Oh, that's cool. 10 for the set. They are worn though, sadly. Look at these teeny tiny little shakers. Those Gettysburg little little souvenir salt and pepper shakers. That's fun. These little teacups. How fun. I love it. See little tiny thing. Oh, it's got the little knife. Oh, it's like a little cheese dish, I guess. It's got the knife and everything. Cute. That's kind of interesting. I actually want to quick check this out. I wonder why it's got the holes in it. Looks like a face or something else. <laughs> sorry, I'm immature. I'm sorry. All right, zoom back out again, just because I don't need to zoom in right now. Some random glassware. Nothing that's catching my eye. The old radio is really cool, though. High fidelity. I like that. No place to put it, though. Ooh, there's like so much stuff here. Let me turn around here slowly so we don't get dizzy. Gander was here. I really want to try and get over to the other Goodwill today or maybe like another antique shop. I actually think I'm going to head up to Mad Hatter. It's another antique shop up here. Mainly because <laughs> they do have a public restroom. This place does not. It took me like 40 some minutes to get here so the coffee's kicking in but anyway. Oh these are cool. Got some krill wear. That's fun. Oh, look at these old these are old McDonald's toys. That's fun. And look at these teeny tiny little porcelain shoes. That's fun. Only a dollar. That's fun. Look at all these little dishes. These would be perfect for like your tea bag when you're having tea. When you're done with your tea bags to get there. Or for a couple cookies if you're having tea. Sorry, shivering. Don't shiver. Oh, I didn't notice this. I wonder if this is Gobel. Oh, it's got a hole in his head though. No, it's just a shaker. Okay, got some planters, which I don't need right now, but these are so cool. Yeah, look at the little golf one, that's fun. Little baby booties. You see this a lot. These are very common. I haven't seen them a lot, especially in Goodwills. <clears throat> oh, look at these. I've never seen these before. Oh, I kind of like the ones with a little shaker. It's got a little face. Oh, I like that. That's cute. What do we think? 
$1.50? The only problem with these though, they don't have the drainage hole. That bothers me. That means I have to have it in a smaller container even than that. I don't know. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Look at that. I don't know why I like that. Interesting. Ugh, it's wet and gross. All right, sorry, turning around again because I missed this section. Yeah, got some pink glass in there. Got a blue bottle. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I like this. This is cute. This would be great for flowers or milk. I haven't gone inside yet. The inside of this place is huge. Well, no, I take it back. It's not huge, but there's a lot of stuff in it. Makes me feel like, oops, what am I stepping on? Stepping on, stepping on a license plate. Are you upside down? I think you're upside down. Let's fix you. Go. And then, and this stuff up here. And that's cool. It's got like a starburst on it. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> okay, moving on. Uh, okay, yes. I'm just kind of looking around me just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Ooh, you got like a jar of marbles. 139 for that. This little jar of marbles. That's kind of cool. Look at that big one in there. That one's a okay, big one. 39 for that as well. Ooh, this is fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Squidward's house, I guess, from SpongeBob. <clears throat> Get some more marbles. Get a little creamer. Some marbles. These glassware. I wonder if this is the old red glass. I don't think it is. It looks too light. It's not really dark. Although I do confess I'm not being a professional at that, but <clears throat> until we're near the trees here. Ugh. Ew, I just got water on my hand. <laughs> it's Germany. I can't see it because my phone didn't focus. Sorry, it just rained water. Good, clean, dirty rainwater. Oh, this is cool. Look at this thing. Well, that was a fancy, fancy, um, oh, ashtray. There we go. My brain, she is not coming to the party today, apparently. All right, here we go. Oh, this is cute. Look at the little owl. Let's zoom in a little bit here, because I'm here at the table, so we need a little more focus. Oh, okay, you just put like, a little tea light on top. I don't think that's vintage, so that's not the gold. I like these glasses. <clears throat> Ooh, look at these in the sunlight. That's pretty. Are they Libby or Libby or no? That's cute though. It's out of three. I like those. Very cute. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I like that. Ooh, be cute for watering my indoor plants. One four fifty for that. Let's get this. though. Oh yeah, it's been repaired. Let's see the crack. It does seem weller though. <clears throat> if you just wanted the look, but you didn't want the price. Alright, then we're zoom in here. Interesting. Teeny, teeny, tiny. That's fun. I like the sizes. What do you say? I can't read you. Oh, there we go. That's cute. Look at that. That's pretty. Two dollars a mini urn. Any markings? Hampton oh. nut. Focus. A dollar. Okay. Interesting. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like this. <gasps> How much are you? <clears throat> what my words things heavy. Look at that. Uh, look at this one. Where's the price? Oh, here we go. Twenty-nine. Oh, that's good. I like that. Oh. And Twenty-two. Oh man, Josh and I've been watching Bargain Hunt. It's a show um, over in England. And every once in a while, people get these like big old cement things and they put them up at auction. I can't remember how much they go for off the top of my head, but I like this one. Oops. Open that. Okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Actually, I'm going to keep that in mind. I might snag that. 
That'd be cute for outside. Alright, turning around, turning around. Hold on, hold on. What's that? Oh, that's interesting. What are you? Wait, let's zoom in a little bit because my phone will cooperate. Oops, there we go. Shawnee, USA. Pottery, chickadees, driftwood. Hello, Shawnee pottery. That's kind of good. Ooh, and there's a spider. <laughs> Hello. Very nice. Smiley face. This is fun. Yeah. Oh, let's back out. Sorry. A little too zoomed. Ooh, I like this a dollar. Stuff though. Oh, I should have brought my water. This time of year, I always get like, all these tickles in my throat. I gotta carry water with me. Have it in the car, but. <clears throat> oh, okay. okay. Sometimes there's like a lot of stuff in here, but right now, I don't think they fully fill out this uh, outdoor section. Look. The sign is 225. If you're interested, there it is. Let's mm -hmm. coffee. For how much? $12. There you go. Oh, I need this little tin. Look at this. Oh, that's fun. $2. Is this Horner? I'm not sure what castle that is. I don't think I did a video, though. The other day, um, on my one video, there was a Hess's like ceramic, like a uh, gravy boat thing at the one flea market, like indoor flea market. They want like 180 for it. And then I was at another antique place that had like a Hess's like dinner plate. I guess they used to have a restaurant or something. And um, there's a big plate and a small plate. They want over like a hundred dollars for each. So if you have old Hess's plates or gravy boats or what have you, apparently they're going for a lot of money. I wouldn't mind finding one. Oh, I have these. I don't need any more though. What are they asking? Actually, collect. I have like like twenty of these at home. I really don't need another two dollars. It's a good deal. I'm gonna leave it for somebody else. So I already have like so many. Like no joke. Oh, they have plates though. But again, I have plenty of plates. Quick look over here. I do want to zoom in on a couple things, but let me just try and get some of this in. That's a little planner. I want five dollars. Which is a like golden, just shiny. <clears throat> this is interesting. It says who it is. It is five dollars though. That's cool. It just isn't pretty anymore. Okay, these two dollars. These are actually kind of fun. Like I like the iridescent look to them. It's Martin Van Buren, <clears throat> Warren G. Harding. I'm gonna look this up because I wonder what these are worth. <clears throat> I think two dollars is a good deal. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because I didn't have a zoom. No, I did have a zoom then. Flies are landing on me. Oops. Five dollars for the Pepsi glass. Pepsi one calorie at the. I have a feeling that might be worth something. But I'm not in a mood to sell. So, Alright, let me well, zoom out. Zoom out so we don't get dizzy. Apologies. I'm a little slower here. I actually want to come over here because I saw a couple things that were interesting. Just going to check them out. So, it's this little dish, which is really cool. For the love of heaven, can you please cooperate today for me? Thank you. Yes. There you go. Another taki made in Japan. Very pretty. Is this a tin? Oh, that's really pretty. Get the scene on that. Oh, Holland. I think I have candies or something in it. 
and 15 for that. Okay, I think I'm about done out here. I thought there was something else I wanted to look at. Oh, I like this plate. This is cute. Ooh, I like that. Why do I like that? I don't need a plate, though. Oh, there's something so old about that, though. Why do I like this plate? Oh, that's so pretty. Can you see the outside with, like, a plate of cookies or something? I don't need a plate, but... Oops. Okay, that's kind of tempting. I like that a lot. I thought there was an, oh yeah, I want to check this out. I saw this little dish. It's odd because it's like a funky shape. But like, look at the sweet pictures on it. No, you can't see the sweet pictures on it because focus. I wonder if this is like French or something. If it's French and $3, I'll buy it. There we go. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's four. And it's, oh, it's Newark talking to me in Japan. <laughs> Well, you weren't meant to be. <laughs> it's cute, though. I like that. I like the shape. Okay, let me zoom back out here. All right, we're pretty much down here. My hand is, like, filthy from touching everything. So I'm going to brush that off. I'm going to head inside. I won't be talking inside. I'll have to do a voiceover for that. But oh, that's cute. I like that setup. Ugh. All right, yeah, this is not inside the store. I'm going to do some voiceover on this, but I'm not going to talk like non-stop through the whole thing. So there might be times of just kind of dead air, but I tried to get a lot of really cool stuff in here. So hopefully there's enough to watch that would be interesting. And I'm kind of learning as I go when I film to, I, I try and think of things that people would like to see. And so I'll film, I try to film everything. And then I easily get overwhelmed. So I'm just, I'm trying to focus or learn to focus on filming things I think are neat or different or unique or maybe hard to find. I don't know. Sorry, my son is in the other room playing a video game with a friend, so if you hear a child yelling in the background, he's perfectly fine. He's just very competitive when he's playing his racing game. So if you hear him in the background, I'm in a room with my door closed, so hopefully you don't hear him. But if you do, it gets very intense. I love this clock. I have to say right up front, I didn't buy anything this day. I know I saw a lot of really cool items on outside, and I'll be honest, I kind of want to go back and get some of those things, but by the time I was done filming uh, on this particular day, uh, this was a couple days ago now for me, or yesterday, um, I was crunched for time, I was starting to get a headache, and I just wanted to get like done filming, and I never did buy anything. When I first walked into this particular shop, there were two ladies there, and I was talking with them, and I was kind of telling them a little bit about my YouTube channel and stuff, and so they were, I asked if I could film in here, they said that was fine, so I did get their permission, which I appreciate. I started to film, and I probably should have asked ahead of time, but they were very gracious and very kind, we got talking a little bit, so I really appreciate them. I love that Costco stool. I think it's 125 though. <laughs> a little steep for me. Little cute baby doll. I guess it was like a... Advertisement? I'm not sure. It was cute. I don't collect cupies, but I know a lot of people who do. I have to say, too, this this video is quite edited down. I, I think I, I chopped off like 20 minutes of this whole thing. There's so much in this place. You really have to go check it out for yourself. If you're ever in Lancaster, go check this place out. There's a ton, a ton of antique place or shops and places in this place, in this area. There we go. <laughs> the little salt and pepper shaker, the little fruit basket thingy. It's so neat. I love all this old vintage kitchen stuff. Like, I could have just spent a day in there. Give me a nice coffee and let me just stand there for a while. Some of the stuff I've never even seen before. It's educational for me. Love the pink glass salt and pepper shaker. The pepper seen better days though. Peter Pan had imitation vanilla. Very interesting. Diff hand cleaner. <laughs> I thought the uh, Nest Quick cup was cool. It was only eleven dollars. It still had the paper on it. Oh, neat old stuff. 
Oh, and there's Eisenhower's again. They keep popping up. <laughs> I think I zoom in again on them. Yeah, there they are. Dwight looked a lot more um, judgmental in the uh, in the other plate that was outside. He had more of like a, a stern look. That one he's like way more pleasant and warm. This is a little booth, but I like the stuff. They had like a really neat variety. They had good vases, or vases, however you like to say it. And this place had a ton of glass cases. There's actually another place down the street from this one. And the it's a huge, I think it's Adamstown Antiques. I think that's what I'm thinking of. When you first walk into that building, it's nothing but glass cases. The whole front of the building is like a massive warehouse size building. So if you like glass cases and going over the little things... They have plenty. And these are really cool. I think they're Victrolas. Am I saying that right? I love the color. If you have the space to display them, that'd be awesome. I love this fan. Yeah, at that part, it's taking me forever to zoom in on the um, price tag, so I apologize for the abrupt edit there, but it was taking me a few minutes. I was like recording the whole time. Isn't that cool though? Ugh. Oh. A lot of those still work too. We have a couple old fans that we actually will use from time to time. And they actually really get the breeze blowing. It's really nice. Get your old vintage toys. Ah, uh, Captain Crunch. He's Captain. Not Captain. Captain. Captain Crunch. <laughs> I have never heard of these little dolls before, and I love that they're in their original box. Little urchins. They're so cute. I love their faces. Oh, I love this picture. Oh my gosh. Okay, so is it one bride and all her bridesmaids? Is it a bunch of people getting married all at once? Like, I'm confused. Tell me in the comments below. And look at these children. They're so... Look at the girl on the left. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, look at the little babies. <laughs> oh my word, they're so... You should go back and, like, like screenshot. They're so cute. Their faces are so funny. Another QB tray display advertisement thing. This case was packed full of good stuff. You've got the lady head vases. you got some Christmas items. Ah, there's a piece of Pyrex that come across in here in a couple minutes or a couple seconds. I love the Santa. He's all the way in the right right now. Okay, I'm zooming in on the lady vase heads. Lady head vases. However you want to say it. Both work. Because I love that Santa in the in the Mrs. Claus. It's like they made use of every square inch of those shelves. It seems like, for the most part, that's Christmas parks. I actually found this dish years ago at a flea market for five dollars. No joke, it's in perfect condition. I didn't end up selling it though. I could kick myself now, but whatever. You live and you learn. I'm trying to figure out what that mouse thing was. It's kind of cute. And this shop has two floors. I'm on the lower floor, and a, and a little bit here. I go up the steps, and I kind of show you, like, going upstairs. Oh, yeah, the uh, treats on pepper shakers. Those were neat. Oh, look at the old elephant bank. I think that was a stife bear. I was trying to see if it was a stife bear. I don't think it was. It's hard to tell. Oh, the Dion quintuplets. It's a sad story. Have you ever have you ever read up on that story? That's a sad story, actually. Their life is rough. Oh, the pe on the left, the Pepsi Cola thing hanging from the ceiling. Look at that. Ugh, I didn't see it when I was there. It's like a vinyl case or something. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go back and get that. Even though we don't drink Pepsi, like my son likes Pepsi. We're my husband and I, Josh and I, like Coca Cola. We prefer that. But I love those old vinyl cases. Oh my word. Chris, maybe it might have been expensive though. See, I'll tell myself that. I'll tell myself it was like 150 dollars out of my price range. I'll feel better. <laughs> I'll sleep better tonight. Oh, this booth had so much vintage cr kitchen stuff. Oh, couldn't take it. And even, like, look at the, the Fire King dish. It still had its original paper. 
It's like never used. Oh, the other one. I love that red and white one. And of course, it was the most expensive one. But actually, I don't think 85 was bad for that. They all worked and stuff. Not bad. Oh, okay, yeah, now we're going upstairs, obviously. Hello. I thought about edit editing this part out. I'm like, no, you need the full experience. You need to go up the steps. <laughs> Now tell me in the comments below, like, do you prefer, like, walking through more or just, like, shots of vintage items? Um, like, I like, I like watching both. When I watch people do thrifting videos and going to antique shops, I don't mind the walking around a little bit. Um, what is that character? He's kind of scary. I love the onions, <laughs> the grumpy onion tea set. That's cute. It's a beautiful teacup and plate set. That was so pretty. I love the pink and the black. I love that they color coordinated this glass case. Like, I love pink and I love turquoise, especially from that era. Nowadays, if you try to look for tur turquoise stuff, it's more of a bluish aqua turquoise. Like, turquoise back then had a different turquoise. Do you know what I mean? Like, it was almost greenish. I, I can't describe what I mean, but if you know, you know. I think that was a Pepsi radio. Never saw anything like that before. Pepsi. Something. Yeah, I can't read that. I almost, I was really tempted to buy this turquoise mixer. I don't have a little hand mixer and I was so tempted to get it. But the price tag was turned around. The pink one, there's a pink one similar next to it. And that, I think they went 75 for that. I can't remember. So I figured it was around that or more. Now, like I said, I didn't buy anything this day. I said there's no haul at the end, so and there's really no outro. I'm just gonna kind of bring it to a conclusion <laughs> when we get near the end here. Just a little heads up. Like the, the animal glass. I actually have that one or have had it and I had the blue version. That's like the orange and yellow. I had like a blue and green one. Exact same thing. I wanted to check the price of this phone because I have a similar one I got for $5 at an auction. So it made me feel good about the one that I got. <laughs> okay, don't you love this old advertisement? It's only forty four dollars. That's not bad. I was I was kind of tempted by that, but like, where do you put that? Another cold turquoise. Phone. I've never seen a turquoise phone like it's kind of greenish and it's like a funky like rectangle shape. Isn't that cool? A funky little razor. Has anyone ever used anything like this? Like, were you from the generation that you use these? Do they work well? Like, I'm really, I'm really curious. And they have a side for like your armpits and then your legs. I think I zoom. Yeah, for underarms. What was the difference? Look, the same blade and for legs. Interesting. It's pretty. It's kind of fun to use. All the vintage ephemera, old cards. I'm getting more and more into this stuff. It's only a dollar. Why did I not buy this? 
Sorry, because I had a headache and I was right. I needed to go. From Frank. Little Victorian babies. Oh, they had some neat, like, fruit-like items in here. Like, this reminds me of Florida. This little orange bell. And I think there's also another, like, a little salt and pepper shaker off to the left here. If I pan over, yeah. How fun is that? It'd be cute if I had, like, a beach house. It'd be, like a citrus theme. Speaking of fruit, they had this, these glassware fruit pieces. Well, I guess corn wouldn't be fruit, but you get what I mean. They're kind of fun, actually. This case has a lot of cool stuff in it. You want to pause from time to time and just kind of like... I tried not to go too fast, but this thing was packed. Absolutely packed. So I got a lot of traffic going by our house today too. You might hear a motorcycle go by from time to time. Trying to get some of the prices of, of these. I love the old advertisements and like them being like filled with the things that they were selling. Uh, I don't think I recorded that those bottles to the left of this train set, did I? Oh, good, I did. I can't remember. I want to see what those were. It's so fun going back and editing my videos because half the time I miss stuff. So it's fun for me too. Do any of these things look familiar to you? Like, are these items that you had? Or you've used? Or your grandparents? You saw your grandparents have? A lot of these I'm not familiar with. Look at the price of that thing. Why? <laughs> it is cool, though. It is. It's probably more than fair. Oh, these light fixtures were so cool. The one behind me is lit, so I do pan over to the ones. I, they're so Art Deco. Oh my gosh love it. Oh, that's so cool. Trying so hard to get the price tag. Was that for like a toaster or like a teapot? I think it's for a toaster. That's so cute. I should get that for our choice, but I don't think it would fit. I've never seen anything like this before. I know that there are collectible cottage cheese glass, gla or like, yeah, like drinking glasses and whatnot. I've never seen one like this. I, th I think it's got like cardboard or plastic. It's really neat though. Got some Pyrex. Now, a few years, like years ago, um, they used to be a lot more Pyrex. A lot of these antique shop. There's less and less of it. I think because most people have bought up what they wanted. And the few pieces you do find are kind of pricey. I love the Maxwell House mugs are so sweet. Oh, the next thing's coming up. Oh, no, not this one. Oh, we have a pink elephant. That was so weird. I've never seen anything like it. It's kind of tacky, but kind of fun, though. Okay, this next is coming up. Oh, I love these so much. I did not buy them. 
but they're these metallic, these metallic canisters. That, they look like blueberries, right? I was talking to Josh, and he said it reminded him of like, like lilies, or like lily pads, or like like lilies in water. So tell me what you think, because I don't know. I think they look like, look like blueberries. They wanted seventy five dollars for the set, and I felt like that was probably good. The thing that bothered me was those little sticky, clear pieces of whatever that had the flour, sugar, whatever on them. Some of them were peeling off, and that kind of bothered me. Like I kind of wish that the words were, had been like painted on, not just like stuck on with a piece of tape. It just they're cool though. Hang back downstairs, giving you the full experience. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> Hold on to the railing, which I don't think I was doing. Quick overview of this. Like, these people who have these glass cases, they use every square inch. They pack stuff in there. I don't blame them. I have no idea how much the rent is for one of these, but I would do the same. Get as much stuff as you can in there. That's so pretty. Oh, is that beautiful? Pink and gold look so great together, right? Okay, this is some of the fa my favorite things that I found uh, yesterday when I was shopping. This was kind of cool. I don't think I don't think there's a price on it. I, I was looking for one. It might have been on the inside. I would have got that if there was like maybe like five bucks or something. I might go back and check because I kind of like that. This next item. I oh not that sorry <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. These are sweet though too. Those are fun. Those are old. I love the illustrations though. This next thing is so cool. I showed my dad and Josh already this next item. Have you seen this before? It is so cool. No price tag. Drove me nuts. But I I was trying to figure out, like what. What does it do? I thought maybe there's a lid you open. Then I realized I pulled this black thing out. And a crown comes out. Crayon. Sorry. Crayon. And then I guess you can slide the little red thing. And you pick the color you want. And then it'll select it. And then you can pull the next one out. That one got, that got a little jammed on me. But how cool is that thing? No stinking price tag. And I, I kind of did a quick... like I looked on eBay to see if I could find any. I didn't search real long or real hard. I couldn't find any other ones. But that is so cool, right? Never seen anything like it. Another fundraiser. Who would buy these though? I mean, they're really neat, but I mean, I guess you could display them. That one was, I kind of like that one. It's got the gem on it. Oh, this is another one of those vendors. Like the case was packed full, but some really, really neat things. I only, I only filmed a couple things because there's so much, and at this point in time, I like such a headache from walking through. But oh my goodness! Oh, look at these keychains. I forget how much they wanted. There's a lot. Yeah, two hundred. Those are cool. I might have snagged that. It had been like twenty or thirty, but I'm not doing this. A little, little salty for Holly. I would buy an individual one though. I wonder if they have those on eBay. <gasps> I should look. I want one now. I want one of those little like doll keychains. <laughs> They're cool, right? Oh, the old Barbies. They are cool. I, I don't collect dolls, but I really do like Barbies. I think they're so neat. All right, well, just about near the end here, guys. I really appreciate your watching. Thank you to my new subscribers for subscribing. I really appreciate it when you like and comment. It does help my channel to grow. You absolutely don't have to. I don't want to be, I don't want to pressure you, but when you comment and like, it does help a lot. So thank you so much for that and for subscribing because that helps a lot, a lot. So I hope you're all doing well. I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, see you guys soon and take care.